developed, I mean, just straight away with Glenn, we just, we sat down, we started talking. I started prepping straight away. I lost a lot of weight um, for the role, and then I built this character up from from the breath, and uh, and a lot of choices in the scripts. And it was really interesting because this character in the script didn't have a lot going on. You'll see a lot of the choices that me and Glenn talked about to make the character have an arc. It's funny because that dog does have really long ears, and I was like, I was afraid he's gonna look like a bunny. If I'm shooting him right here, I got a great eye over here. If this one can. is almost like half covered, and a lot of his expressions are going to be through I this eye. If we just can get a little bit more of this eye showing okay. so that his expressions are so important. Aww. This is inspiring. This is inspiring. It's all happening. Okay? Yeah, yeah don't feel Relax. defeated. All right. Don't feel defeated. Seriously. No, 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 Candy. This is perfect. 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 You guys are doing so good. It's going to translate really well on camera. I okay. guarantee it. Okay. We're almost there. This is part of it. I think we did three of these. Three models, yeah. and First, I did three tests before yeah. we got it so just right. So this was right. the sixth one. She did three, four here, and I didn't like the play. This was a Candy model. pointed out, and I'm holding it. It's really hard. It, it moves. It's a lot. I mean, my finger's going to be here, and so it had play. Oh, makeup department, amazing. And I spend five hours a day in makeup, you know, three to five hours a day depending on what we're doing. You know, you can't complain when someone's working that hard. I mean, they they did an amazing job for two of them. They, they did a job that probably should have had six people on it, you know, realistically. And they were jumping and helping other departments. And so I'm saying everyone jumped in and helped. We had... We had the producer jumping in and jumping in on props and jumping in on makeup and jumping wherever is needed. We had people from different departments doing that and picking up slack when people were tired and people were jumping in. And that's what made it worth it, you know? That's what made you want to do a better job. That's what made you say, we have to make the best movie possible. Don't growl at me. If you yeah. look down here, this is where his fingers have been hidden the whole time. And we're going to release Underneath them. Underneath these two plates, just like that. And they've been curled up under a bar so I can hold the tension rod that's up He's here. A wonderful contortionist of fingers. So I don't know if you can see it now because we're taking it off. But Oops, that, we, we want it to be really proportionate. So I'm really doing that in there. And that's, so it's almost the same size as my wrist. Almost free. Yeah. These, these are made of uh, copper tubing. The whole fork is, it makes it real light. So that way you can bend it, which is... You've been amazing about it. I have to remember when I go back to the hotel to take no, this off good. because last time I went in, I scared the shit out of people. Because that will dry and I was wondering why everyone, there's a big biker dude who's hitting on this yeah, chick and I remember just looking at him. And he literally leaned against the back wall and just like this. And I'm like, what the fuck is this problem? And everyone just stopped talking when I walked through. It's like a whole bunch of people talking and everyone shut up. And I got up and looked in the bedroom mirror and I was like, oh, that's why. I kind of look, yeah, I'm seeing myself <laughs> right now. Because I have yet to see him. I haven't seen his face yet. I've been on set for, what, almost two weeks now. I have not seen his face, so. For me, I didn't want them, when I moved, I wanted them to react. You know, when I did things, I didn't want them to have to have their contrived opinion. I really wanted them to feel it when they did it, you know? And if, if they weren't afraid of me, then I wasn't doing my job, you know? Holy oh, shit! Oh, what? fuck it, that scared me! Oh, holy what's this, shit! What's, 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 <laughs> right, what, what she just did, that's exactly how I feel. People are trying to figure you out all the time, you know? And that's yeah. thing. It's like, and, and I saw it the whole time. People were like, Look, did you hear that? Like, he, sn he sneaks in like, the, the, like, the, the girl's room right? and like, just stares at him sleeping. Oh, and, and people are like, no, that's not true. And people are like, no, it's true. And like, people try and get a read on you uh, straight away and um, try and figure you out. I knew Mr. Killian would say something because I still didn't even talk to him and he's super pissed at me. He's oh, really? Like, really? Motherfucker won't even talk to you and I'm dead. I'm like, yeah, I'm not. Just, I, know, I know you're going to start talking to other people. Because my character doesn't speak. I don't speak with in, in, um, in physical words. <laughs> And because of that, uh, that's a lot of the reason why I didn't want to speak on set. And Glenn really wanted me to talk to him, which was a interesting challenge to come across. Having to communicate with the director, and you're not allowed to speak. And I wanted to find out how to communicate a whole life while not speaking. And I just wanted to discover, I wanted to play, and I wanted to figure out as much as possible. And I, I knew that I'd still be finding stuff on set. And to be talking to people would just really rob me of that discovery as well. Go, and and just the same. Go, boy. I didn't really speak. And then I, f then when it came to him and he wanted to talk, I played the child voice, you know, the inner child voice, and I was able to speak to him on that. And 
I killed her. Come this way. And uh, that's how I was able to communicate with him. And, and I knew that this character has to have some em just empathy. Even when he's fucked up and he does things, you know, you don't quite understand why he did it. But you can feel for him, at least at certain points, whether you agree with what he's doing or not. I just wanted to raise the bar. I, didn't want to I, I wanted to make this movie the best it could be.